Hello. I wanted to share with you all today a practice that I have been doing for several years. It's very, very simple, and I call it supine sunshine visualization or meditation. So I highly encourage you to get outside for this meditation and face the sun. I also recommend, if you can, to lay on your back. Supine means to be lying on your back. So you might want to get a blanket or a sheet or something. And if it's hard for you, if it's difficult for you to lay on your back, then you can also sit in a chair. I recommend you have bare feet. <laughs> And if you're sitting in a chair, you can put your bare feet in the earth, or you could also stand and put your feet in the earth. But I'm going to guide you as if you're laying on your back in this very grounding, also releasing, and very re-energizing. We're gonna be pulling on the energy of the sun. So start by laying on your back and get comfortable in a Shavasana position. So you wanna separate your feet from one another. So they're about one to two feet apart. You want your arms to be about a foot away from the body, downward. And you want your palms to be facing up towards the sunshine, towards the sky. And begin by starting to focus on the breath. And just begin to slow the breath down. Breathing gently through the nose, in and out. And as you exhale, just allow for the body to fall in toward the earth. Allow for the muscles and the legs to soften, to let go. And allow for the legs to drop deeper toward the earth. the whole back side of the body. Feel all the different parts of the back side of the body that are connected to the earth. Feel that connection and see if you can strengthen it by letting go a little bit more on your next few exhales. In your highest good, it leaves you through the exhale. and send it with love to the earth and know that she is the master of transforming energy she takes what is given to her and she transforms it into good And now turn your attention to the sun, the warmth of the sun's rays on your face. And on all the different parts of the body with which it is coming into contact. You can use your imagination and literally see the sun's rays in your mind's eye shining down, pouring down on all of your body. You may even want to expose your belly to the sun.
And imagine the area just a couple inches above your belly button, your solar plexus. Imagine the sun's rays coming into that area of the body. This is your place of personal power and inner strength. And just allow the energy of the sun to invigorate and re-energize you through your solar plexus, through your power center. And just imagine that the energy from the sun is entering all the different spaces and places of your body. That it's able to reach every single cell. And all the intercellular components, intracellular components every molecule, every atom. Of your being. The light shines upon all the cracks and crevices of the physical body and also your energy body. And as the light moves its way, the sunlight, the rays of the sun moves its way through your body. Imagine that you are being cleansed and healed and re-energized. You're able to continuously let go of that which doesn't serve you and while that is happening, the spaces that are opening get filled up with this light, the sun's light. So allow for this penetration and just receive this beautiful divine healing light. Open yourself up. Stop the resistance and allow the flow. You must surrender. You must let go. You must trust and allow. So you can either stay here for as long as you wish. You can press pause on this recording if you're re-watching it. Or you can begin to start the process of coming back. By bringing your focus back to the breath. allowing for the breath to deepen once again. And with three big final breaths, you're going to inhale this divine healing, cleansing, energizing light, and you're going to exhale three more times that which isn't serving you, and you're going to send it with love to the earth. So here we go, take a big inhale, breathing in light, and exhale whatever you're not needing to hold on to now. Your second of three, inhale. Breathe in a little more. 
and then let it go. Open your mouth. And last one. Deep inhale. Breathe in a little more. And perhaps a little bit more. Open your mouth and sigh it out. Release. And now you can begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Perhaps move your head from side to side. Bend your knees. Roll onto one side in a fetal position. Pause there for two or three breaths. Recognizing that this is a pose of new beginnings. It's an asana of rebirth. Fetal position. And take this opportunity to begin anew, to continue the rest of this day in new light, feeling lighter and rejuvenated. And then when you feel ready, you can bring yourself back up into a seated position. And I like to end those types of meditations with a gesture of gratitude. I like to bring my hands into Anjali Mudra prayer position and just generate a sensation, a feeling of gratitude in your heart center. and complete this sentence, I am grateful for and then bring your thumbs to your forehead center and take a bow thank you for joining me for supine sunshine Oh, Gage, hi. <laughs> and Megan, love you, Mama. I love you too, Megan. Gage, I'm so happy you're here watching. Okay, so much love. I hope this helped you all in some way.